Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to QC Comics with, of course, another action figure unboxing video. And today we've got a one of my one of my favorite Spider-Man designs. We've got the Spider Armor MK1. And this is just a, a classic look. It's very it's so short-lived, uh, but it did appear, obviously, in the animated show. Uh, short-lived in the comics, anyway. But, I guess, short-lived in any medium. Uh, this is, of course, on this real thick cardboard that comes with uh, this retro Spider-Man style figures. This is kind of the wave here. You've got Hammerhead, Symbiote Spider-Man, Hobgoblin, Ben Riley Spider-Man, and Marvel Shocker. You've got all of your information there on the back. And then you've got some nice artwork there. And this is one that, other than the Symbiote Spider-Man, I was so excited to pick up. It, it's just, it's one of those designs that's just, it's so goofy. Like, it's so not Spider-Man, but it works because it's just uh, one of those figures or one of those designs that's just goes into his array of different costumes he's rocked over the years. So we're gonna open this up. This is very thick. It's kind of a nightmare to open. So we're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna take a look at everything inside. Okay, now that we have properly destroyed that beautiful box, let's take out everything. Just got a little bit of tape over here. But this is also one of the reasons I was very excited to pick up this figure. Uh, not the alternate hands, but you do have the thwipping hands here as he comes with just the punching hands already on the figure so you got the thwipping and i do love the shine on the, met the metallic paint there um but not a lot of figures come with their own webbing and i know you can get a lot of different webbing things on etsy and and ebay and things like that but this is something i wish they would do more of i wish they would put just different webbing designs in these figures or with the figures so that you can mix and match them with the other spidey figures and and get some cool shots for photography or just posing on the shelf, whatever you want to do. That is neat, and I'm really happy that that's in there. Uh, but let's go ahead and pop out this figure. It is on, I believe, the updated Spider-Man body, pretty sure. And overall, I mean, just the look of this, it's got such an excellent shine to it. I'm not sure if the webbing was painted in in the show. I think that would kind of look cool have that just deep blacks kind of in the grooves but yeah just a, a real nitpicky thing this really feels like the marvel legends it kind of feels like i'm holding an ant-man figure which is weird i'm not sure why it's giving me those vibes but it really does feel that way uh the mold here and and the way this is kind of grooved feels really good the figure itself everything moves it's not overly stiff now, that shoulder, as I say that, that shoulder was <laughs> really giving me trouble. Uh, but your arms go up about there. Get up to about a T-pose. Looks like the knees should go, oh yeah. Yeah, excellent flexibility. And that's really important with Spider-Man figures. You want that mobility with the legs to do different dynamic poses. So, good movement there. Let's check the feet. Ooh, like butter. The feet move really well. You got kind of just a real nice flat foot there. So I think this will just plant and stand. And I cannot say enough good things, though, about this armor design and the shine to it. It really is so much different than any other Spider-Man figure I have on the shelf. I really love this. And I love the Spider logo on the back here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of at a loss for words because... It, this is a figure that it really feels great in your hand, and the design on this is phenomenal. So, definitely happy about that. This piece kind of sits a little wonky to here. I'm not sure what that's about exactly. Like, I feel like it just pops off a little, mo a little further than that one, away from the body. Maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. Also, the spider logo on the chest is excellent as well. But yeah. Not much else to say about it. Not a ton of accessories, but accessories that I am very happy to have. So we're going to pose up Spidey here, the armored Spidey, and we'll give our final thoughts and uh, we'll tack a number grade on this guy. Okay, so armored Spidey, unboxed, posed up, 
ready to go. What do we think about it? I'm very, very happy with this figure. I picked it up at Walmart. I think it was $22.99. I'm not crazy about Marvel Legends figures going over the $20 price point. I am, however, very happy to have this. It's such a different spider design that I, I wanted it on the shelf with my other Spider-Man figures. I just kind of po posted the webbing up there just because it, it all kind of blends in here. So I did, just didn't want to leave it off on the, the side there. Um, this is a 9.5 for me out of 10. And... It looks great. It feels great. The metallic shine is excellent. I love that there is different webbing accessories. I hope that is something they do more of in the future. And overall, I'm just really pleased with the figure. I think it's pretty close to a solid 10. It's a 9.5. Pretty close. Not quite there. But um, yeah, it, it's one that when I saw it on the shelves, there was two of. I'm definitely happy I threw it in the cart because I have not seen one since. Uh, that same that that uh, goes also for the symbiote Spider-Man. Um, I did, however, pass on the Ben Riley. I already have an older version of that figure, and so I just didn't know if I wanted to then you know, pretty much throw another 25 bucks at updating a figure. However, I don't know if there are any other versions of this. Definitely not anything close to being modern that I know of. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, if you got to pay a little bit more on the secondary market, I would think that's okay. Uh, yeah, it's a figure that I recommend. I hope you can find for retail. Uh, but you know, if, if you're buying it somewhere and somebody has it listed for 26, 27 bucks, something like that. Yeah, I'd recommend it. I'd go for it. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Really enjoy doing these. Really enjoy finding Spider-Man on the shelves at Walmart and Target again. So I hope they keep it up. Uh, as always, take care. I should have more unboxing videos coming up later this week. So keep an eye out for those. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.